In this video, I am going to discuss the generalized power rule by using the chain rule. Let us look at the first example y is equal to 7x cubed minus 5 whole thing power 9. In this solution, we will write down dy by dx that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to the dx of y which is equal to the dx of 7x cubed minus 5 whole thing power 9. If the function y is equal to x to the power 9, then by using the power function rule, the derivative with respect to x of x to the power 9 is equal to 9 x to the power 9 minus 1. However, in this case, we have an expression raised to the power 9. So, we cannot use the power function rule. So, in cases where the function is equal to an expression raised to some power, we need to apply the chain rule. Let us assume that x is equal to the expression 7x cubed minus 5. By assuming that x is equal to 7x cubed minus 5, using the power function rule, the derivative with respect to x of x to the power 9 is equal to 9 x to the power 9 minus 1 or 7x cubed minus 5 to the power 9 minus 1. Now since we have assumed that x is equal to 7x cubed minus 5, we need to again differentiate the expression within the bracket. That is, we need to find the derivative with respect to x of 7x cubed minus 5. 7x cubed minus 5 to the power 9 minus 1 is equal to 8. Using the sum and difference rule, the derivative of the difference of two function is equal to derivative of the first function minus derivative of the second function. Using the constant times a function rule, the derivative of a constant times a function is equal to constant times the derivative of the function. The derivative of a constant function is equal to 0. The derivative with respect to x of x to the power 3 is equal to 3 x to the power 3 minus 1. 7 times 3 equals 21 x to the power 3 minus 1 equals x to the power 2 or x square. 9 times 21 equals 189 x square 7 x cubed minus 5 to the power 8. So this is our final answer. Let us now look at the second problem. y is equal to ax plus b to the power 5. In the solution we have to write down dy by dx that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to the dx of y which is equal to the dx of ax plus b to the power 5. If y is equal to x to the power 5 then by using the power function rule the derivative with respect to x of x to the power 5 is equal to 5x to the power 5 minus 1. However, in the given problem, y is equal to an expression raised to the power 5. So we cannot use the power function rule. So in this case, we need to apply the chain rule. Now let us assume that x is equal to ax plus b. By assuming x is equal to ax plus b, we can now use the power function rule. The derivative with respect to x of x to the power 5 is equal to 5 x to the power 5 minus 1 or ax plus b to the power 5 minus 1. Now since we have assumed that x is equal to ax plus b, we need to again differentiate the expression ax plus b with respect to x. ax plus b to the power 5 minus 1 is equal to ax plus b to the power 4. Using the sum and difference rule, the derivative of the sum of two functions is equal to derivative of the first function plus derivative of the second function. In the given problem, a and b are constant parameter. Using the constant times a function rule, the derivative of a constant times a function is equal to constant times the derivative of the function plus the derivative of a constant function is equal to 0. The derivative with respect to x of x is equal to 1. a times 1 is equal to a. So the final answer is dy by dx that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 5a within bracket ax plus b to the power 4. Let us now look at the third problem. y is a product of two functions. The first function is x square minus 6x to the power 3 and the second function is 3x square plus 7x to the power 6. In the solution we will write down dy by dx that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to the dx of y which is equal to the dx of the product 
of two functions x square minus 6x to the power 3 3x square plus 7x to the power 6 using the product rule the derivative of the product of two functions is equal to the first function times the derivative of the second function plus the second function times the derivative of the first function now since we cannot find the derivative with respect to x of an expression 3x square plus 7x raised to the power 6 we shall assume that x is equal to 3x square plus 7x by assuming x is equal to 3x square plus 7x using the power function rule the derivative with respect to x of x to the power 6 is equal to 6 x to the power 6 minus 1 or 3x square plus 7x to the power 6 minus 1 now since we have assumed that x is equal to 3x square plus 7x we need to again differentiate the expression 3x square plus 7x with respect to x again since we cannot find the derivative of an expression x square minus 6x raised to the power 3 we shall assume x is equal to the expression x square minus 6x since we have assumed that x is equal to x square minus 6x by using the power function rule the derivative with respect to x of x to the power 3 is equal to 3 x to the power 3 minus 1 or x square minus 6x to the power 3 minus 1 since we have assumed that x is equal to x square minus 6x we need to again differentiate the expression x square minus 6x with respect to x by using the sum and difference rule the derivative of the sum of two functions is equal to the derivative of the first function plus the derivative of the second function again by using the sum and difference rule the derivative of the difference of two functions is equal to the derivative of the first function minus the derivative of the second function 3x square plus 7x to the power 6 minus 1 is equal to 3x square plus 7x to the power 5 using the constant times a function rule the derivative with respect to x of 3x square is equal to 3 times the derivative with respect to x of x square again using the constant times a function rule the derivative with respect to x of 7x is equal to 7 times the derivative with respect to x of x x square minus 6x to the power 3 minus 1 is equal to x square minus 6x to the power 2 using the power function rule the derivative with respect to x of x to the power 2 is equal to 2 x to the power 2 minus 1 using the constant times a function rule the derivative with respect to x of 6x is equal to 6 times the derivative with respect to x of x using the power function rule the derivative with respect to x of x to the power 2 is equal to 2 x to the power 2 minus 1 the derivative with respect to x of x is equal to 1 x to the power 2 minus 1 is equal to x to the power 1 or simply x the derivative with respect to x of x is equal to 1 3 times 2 equals 6 x to the power 2 minus 1 is equal to x to the power 1 or we can simply write x 7 times 1 is equal to 7 6 times 1 equals 6 so the final answer is dy by dx that is the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 6 x square minus 6x to the power 3 3x square plus 7x to the power 5 6x plus 7 plus 3 3x square plus 7x to the power 6 x square minus 6x to the power 2 2x minus 6